So let's now start with the installation of our next component. That is JDeveloper. So JDeveloper is a open source uh, uh, ID provided by Oracle. So let's now install JDeveloper. Go to my computer, then C drive, then stage FMW folder. Here you can see this is the downloaded folder for JDeveloper. You can directly click on this and get it installed. Initialize it. So here we start with the installation wizard, click on next, then create a new middleware home, then provide the uh, path for JDeveloper. Now click on next. complete next so uh, this is the uh, installation summary where uh, your J developer will be installed this is the path for J developer and this is the product installation directories this is the path for web logic server now click on next next so this is the installation summary where uh, what all your components are going to be installed J developer and ADF application development framework and uh, weblogic server then JDK now click on next so it will take some time to install so we are now done with the installation of J developer in our system and now click on done Let me show you where it you can directly directly go to the J developer. Here you can see Oracle Fusion middleware. Here is the J developer studio. Default role, click OK. So this opens our J developer ID and uh, here you can create any application but let me just uh, we have uh, another step to um, install SOA extension but before that let me tell you the difference between what happens before installing SOA and what happens after installing SOA extension let us create a new application here you can see what type of application you can create you can you cannot now create any SOA application there are no option for there is no option for that it's because we need to update so extension in J developer for that we'll go to help then check for updates then click on next that two required things are already selected now click on next make sure you are online and now select the update required update this is the required update oracle SUA composite editor check on it and click next uh, this uh, will be installing or a uh, SUA suit uh, extension in our J developer click on next so it will take some time uh, for around 
286 MB of data to be downloaded. Like now stop. So uh, there is some offline way to do uh, update the uh, extension. Let me just show you how to do that. Check for updates. Click next. The earlier what I uh, showed you uh, that was an online uh, way to do uh, to update the SO extension. Next, I will show you how to do it offline. For that, you need to download um, SO extension. Uh, from the Oracle website manually. So install from local file, then show the path where Oracle SOA extend, extension is available. Home, C drive, go to C drive, then here we have stage FMW folder, open it. Then here you can see SOA J developer extension. I have already downloaded it. You can provide the extension here and click open. Now click on next. Now click finish. To finish. Choose the default role. So after when uh, we have updated this OI extension in JDeveloper, let me show you uh, what changes has been made in JDeveloper. Click on new application. Here we are creating new application. You can see there is SOA application also available. Earlier we uh, it was not available. After SOA extension update, it's available. So now you can work with um, SOA application J Developer. J Developer is an ID. So click on next. Then provide the project name. Let the default be there. Project one next then next finish now you can see uh, this project one is created so if you uh, want to proceed with that you can do it this ends our um, last installation of the component Now as we are done with the installation of JDeveloper, the next thing we need to do is start the Enterprise Manager. To start the Enterprise Manager, for that we need to first start the WebLogic server. So let me just show you how to start the WebLogic server. But uh, let me show the file that starts the WebLogic server. Go to C drive, then go to Oracle, then in middleware. In middleware, you can see user project, and in user projects, go to domains, then SOA dev, then go to bin. Here, you can see the um, uh, CMD files. This one is the uh, file to start the web logic server. We'll be doing it with the help of command prompt. Let me start the command prompt. Now I'll change my directory to this CD to uh, change my directory to this direct this path. I'll be copying this path and pasting it here. So now I am in the bin folder. I'll be starting now the WebLogic server. Start web WebLogic dot cmd. So the uh, web logic server is starting.
so now you can see uh, the admin server has been started here you can see server state has changed to admin and also server state changed to resuming and server state changed to running mode here yeah. so uh, the admin server has been started and listening port is 7001 you can see here so uh, and also it has uh, started to accept requests so after uh, we have started our uh, uh, admin server to running mode so let's now uh, let's now open the browser and interact with the server so let's now start the enterprise manager as we have started the web logic server now it's time to uh, start the web uh, enterprise manager for that we will type http for double forward slash then localhost colon then 7001 forward slash em enterprise manager So finally we have started the enterprise manager you can see you can provide the password here and a username also I have provided username as weblogic which I have earlier provided and password as welcome one why I have chosen this username weblogic and password as welcome one it's because we have earlier kept a note of this one admin username was weblogic and password was welcome one same uh, username and password we have to provide it here and click login So we have success, successfully log, logged in and in the enterprise manager and you can see the uh, status of the admin server is up here and you can also see SOA if you want to uh, do the deployment you can do here and this SOA infra is the partition for the admin server so we are now successfully done with the whole installation if you want to log out uh, you can log out from here. Uh, it's under this toolbar I need to uninstall this so we are now done with the installation process so uh, one more thing remains is that uh, I need to show you how to start the admin console also for that you can create a new tab and uh, same or uh, type the same uh, same path like uh, HTTP forward slash then localhost then you can choose seven one then forward slash console so we have a you can see you can log in from the um, administrator console here and So you can see this uh, administration server uh, console page. You can uh, enter uh, login, provide the same uh, username and password, weblogic and welcome one. Login. 
so we have now entered into the administration console we can uh, uh, do the administration activities further in this so uh, now finally I have successfully demonstrated all the required things uh, how to enter into admin, uh, how to start the uh, admin console, how to start the weblogic server and how to do all the installation process. So this finally completes our uh, video tutorial on Tua Suit.